How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome to night diving. On the Minky trip I was able to get some fun night diving in and I got some very interesting footage of some crazy creatures. Stay tuned to the end of this one guys because I have an, I have an alien on recording. All right, I'm, ju I'm just gonna say that and let you guys figure out the rest later on. So make sure you guys stick to the end of this video. Now basically with night dives, I like to call these your hunting parties, but your hunting parties are mainly going to consist out of giant trevally and red bass. And these guys will actually use your light or your torch. Once you illuminate a tiny little fish or some interesting little critter, these guys will go absolutely nuts and swoop that thing out of your light and get a nice little snack and pretty much thank you for it. Um, so we do have a couple rules about this on the boat. You're only allowed two kills per diver. They are non-transferable. Uh, we don't want you guys wiping out the reefs here, but it is very, very interesting to see these guys hunt. Unfortunately, I don't have any hunting footage of them actually catching any animals. We were pretty deep in the reef here and I like to use these dives to go on some uncharted territory mainly because finding the boat is very easy during night dives but pretty much these guys will use your light and eat the little fish that you point out and think are so cute and they will be gone in the blink of an eye and when I tell you these guys get uncomfortably close I've had giant trevally literally bump into my mask you know, brush up on my side. They will get ridiculously close and they know you're not gonna do anything about it, which is a little hint of poor survival instincts, but it's also good because it tells us that, you know, nobody's down here spearfishing our giant trevally and red bass, but they will get uncomfortably close. So be on the lookout for that. And, but just being in a swarm of giant trevally is truly a pleasure and it's something that you just absolutely have to experience. Now, tagging along with these hunting parties of giant trevally and red bass are probably the reason that you actually clicked on this video, but sure enough, there are white tip reef sharks joining us tonight. Now, I don't promise my students a lot of things, but I can almost guarantee my students every single time that you will see sharks on a night dive. They will tag along with the giant trevally and the red bass and they'll also join in on the feeding festival that happens when we go out and we light up the reef with all of our torches. So I only saw white tips on this night dive but sometimes I see like nurse sharks or black tips may, uh, sometimes but these guys they don't get all too big they're very good I would say beginner shark uh, for open water students you know they're not as terrifying as a lot of the bigger sharks but they are still an absolute joy to see and they definitely make night dives a little bit more exciting but they're really just like puppy dogs underwater all you got to do in order to get them away is just shine the light in their face and they will pretty much go do their own thing. And then next up was a fish that I don't think I've ever seen before. If so, I haven't identified it properly. I thought this was a batfish of some sort, but after looking at my identification book, I was actually able to figure out that this was a juvenile humphead bannerfish, or Heniacus varius. And the adults will have a like hole punch indentation like on their forehead, like right in between their face and their dorsal fin. 
And this dude just had crazy locomotion like you're about to see, like kind of like an elevator. It was just able to move up and down with those clear pectorals and just sort of like glide through the water, which I thought was absolutely amazing. And I hope you guys think it too. And then next up, when I looked in this tiny little cave, I found a rare sight. I rarely, rarely ever see boxfish and this yellow box fish, or Ostracion cubicus, was a very, very rare find and just so cool to see. I didn't want to shine my light in his face, so that's why the light is kind of off to the side, uh, just because it might have been sleeping and I just didn't want to disturb it that, that much. Um, but box fish are gorgeous and you don't see a whole lot. There are 23 distinct species and they get up to about 18 inches or about half a meter, but still always, always a pleasure to see some boxfish. And slowly but surely we are ticking off the cast of Nemo. This is a banded coral shrimp or Stenopus hispidus. They actually are cleaner shrimp, so what they show in the film is actually real, obviously not that quick but they will clean other fish, even big predators, such as the inside of eels' mouths. And next up, I didn't find one, but two brown banded pipefish. Now, go ahead and check out the other dive video that I have previous to this one. I have some information about the brown banded pipefish that I put out there, uh, but I actually don't think I gave you guys the scientific name for it. So, scientific name for the brown banded pipefish is Corythoichthys and Plexus. Continuing with some invertebrates that I found, I actually found two types of flatworm. This first one, they might be the same species, but I'm not entirely sure, but this first one is a glorious flatworm, or Pseudobiceros gloriosus, and I'm still really, really, really trying to get footage of a flatworm free swimming. Now, while they are bottom dwellers, they can actually detach and swim, and it looks absolutely crazy. If you haven't seen it, I highly, highly go look up some YouTube video. And this next guy, I'm actually not too sure on what this species is. I thought it was a glorious flatworm for a while, but I found out that glorious flatworms mainly have like an orange outline, and they. but this guy had a green outline with a purple slash lavender stripe down the middle of it. So I'm not entirely sure. Please help me out down in the comment section below if you guys do know what this type of flatworm is. I would highly appreciate it. And of course, you guys know me, it is not a dive video without a new type of nudibranch, or at least one nudibranch. So, I couldn't find a common name for this one, but I was able to find, after a very long extensive search, I found the scientific name, it is Chromodorus willani, and just a gorgeous nudibranch, and just another one to add to the collection of the ones that we have found. Alright guys, I'm giving you like 10 quick seconds to click off of this video now if you have a fear of the ocean, because this is not going to help your phobia at, at all. Alright, 3, 2, 1, okay, I warned you. I found a freaking alien on this night dive. I have absolutely no idea what this is. I did a good amount of research on trying to figure out what it might be. I thought it might be a salp of some sort, but salps are mainly free swimming and have a few different characteristics. Uh, I, I have a feeling it might be a sea cucumber of some sort, like some sort of translucent sea cucumber. Translucent sea cucumbers are a thing, but when I was doing my research, they don't get anywhere near as big as this. This thing was about, I would say, a meter to a meter and a half, maybe like four feet, four and a half feet. It was big, like as thick as my arm, and yeah. The only thing, reason why I think it's a sea cucumber is because of the appendages coming out of one end, but that's my only lead on what this might be. So, if you can 
help me out with this? I, I have absolutely no idea. When I saw this, I was blown away. And yeah, so just crazy thing happened on that night dive. And if you know it, please help me out in the comment section down below. But that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Sorry if you're not going to sleep tonight because of what you saw near the end there. Appreciate you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.